Hello and welcome to the second film for today on Universal Month 2021. You probably already know. Today we're going to take a look at a religious film. Now this religious film is a movie I was kind of hesitant to check it out. It was released by Universal, but for some reason it was not put up by Universal, the copy I got. And today we're taking a look at Michael Cassie and Sarah Lancaster in The Stray, A True Story. Yeah, I just love, I just saw The Stray, but I didn't see A True Story. Yeah, this is actually a true story, and it's bad. It is not good. It's trash, pretty much. I don't even know why I decided to pick, I guess because I wanted to do sort of another family film. The Pure Flix, I just do not like the studio. The problem I have with Pure Flix is they have bad acting, uh, just not they have bad acting, and just all in all, not a good studio. Although one interesting fact is that I tried watching this Blu-ray, and I could not watch the Blu-ray. So I resolved on watching the DVD. Now, if Universal did put this out, so if I got it on Blu-ray again, if I decide to rebuy this, I'll get the Universal release, and I'll work. Now, I tested a the movie The Fate of the Furious a couple hours ago. I will not cover that for Universal Month if you're curious. But I checked out that and that Blu-ray played fine. And that was released by Universal. So if you're going to, if you do not have an updated firmware on the player, you cannot watch The Stray. But if you get the Universal release and don't have it updated, I don't have the firmware updated or decryption key, it will just play fine. But honestly, that's kind of a good thing because this isn't good. Let's talk about the stray. Uh, the stray follows follows the Davis family. They find they find a stray dog, so they decide the stray dog and name him Pluto. So the little boy in the beginning of the film finds a stray dog at a playground. So the stray dog saves him from a bunch of bullies. So he gets sent to the principal's office and blames that. So basically. In the middle, middle of the film, their two-year-old daughter apparently goes missing, thinking, oh, I thought he was, she was with you. Turns out, she was end up walking around, and they, they get very scared. So, it turns out, later in the film, the boys go on a hiking trip, and along with them, they bring the dog named Pluto. But it actually turns out that their tent gets destroyed. I'm going to kind of give away the movie, because it's not very good. The, the tent gets destroyed and lightning hits. So they think the dad's going to die. Well, he does get hit with lightning and somehow survives it. No one to know, the dog gets hit with lightning and, well, you know, the dog's dead just like that. It was just, I don't know. I, I kind of lost interest right in two-thirds. So honestly, I just did not like the stray. The, the acting was bad. Uh, the dog was kind of cute. Um, the film, the film, I'll give credit. The movie takes place in 1991. So I'll give it credit for that. The, the time period setting in 1991, maybe the dog was cute and maybe cool artwork. Aside from that, those are small little, those are small little jewels in a bad film. So, yeah. Even has a promo for God's Not Dead, A Light and Darkness in theaters March 18th. I don't know if this played in theaters. So anyways, so is there any positives? Like I said before, the setting, the dog was kind of cute. I'm not a dog person, I will say that, so I didn't really relate much to this film. One, dog's, one dog can change everything. <sighs> yeah. Um, the acting was just from okay to painfully awful. The acting just wasn't good. The kids are kind of cute and maybe the little girl, maybe their their two-year-old and eight-year-old are kind of are cute I guess but they're beautiful don't get me wrong but like I said many 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 times this just isn't good. So I said what I said so now that means final verdict should you see the stray? Absolutely not. This is an automatic no. I thought, okay, I'll give it credit there, but once I've watched the film, 
it was all downhill. Preflix films are, are just not very good. I do not like this studio. They have never made a good movie. The one I could easily recommend would be I'm Not Ashamed. That's the other Preflix film. I don't know if I'm going to watch uh, the other one, Do You Believe, which is which I do own. And that only got because it was another. It was a dollar. Had this. Might as well check out that. And the cast seemed like it might be good, but who knows? We'll just have to wait to see and find out if that's going to happen. But as for the stray, stay away from it. Even if you are an animal lover or a dog person, even dog even dog owners will not like this film. Preflix is just a studio that I just do not like. He never made a good film. I'm not ashamed is what I can easily recommend. Only watch that one. Stay far away from everyone else. And if Pure Flix keeps making junk, I will not ever watch it again. I, this movie, the next one, if I do watch Do You Believe, and that's junk, I will not touch another Pure Flix film. They made Unplanned it, and I don't plan on seeing that film. <laughs> Unplanned it, I don't plan and see that film. So stay away from the stray. If you see it for a dollar, pay a dollar, but I feel like I just wasted a dollar on trash. So that's my view of the stray. If you think the movie's good, if there's someone I'm missing out of this, comment on the bottom. Let me know if you think this movie's good. I might have been missing something, but I already mentioned so. As for The Stray, I don't know if I'm going to keep this film. I don't know if I'm going to rewatch it again. So, by the way, this DVD's bare bones. I think the Universal release had extras, so... Highly avoid that film. So that's The Stray. Uh, not really much to say about this film. It's just utter trash. So, that's it. Take care. I'm out. Come back tomorrow for another review. Hopefully it's better than The Stray.